Tonight, a man arrested for stalking a woman who was with her child at a St. Johns County Publix has bonded out of jail. Now this is surveillance video from last week that authorities say shows the man stalking that customer. The St. John's uh, County deputies arrested the man 63 year old David Schroeder on a first degree misdemeanor stalking charge after the incident was reported. And we do have a warning for parents tonight as we're learning more about this man's past. On your sites, David Jones joins us live tonight from that Publix and David, you've been able to confirm this man held a position in youth sports in the area. That's right. We have just learned that Schroeder was released from jail around one o'clock this afternoon, but throughout the day we've been working to confirm something that we can now tell you, which is that Schroeder was a referee overseeing local flag football games in the area. We have been speaking to parents whose children played on teams that he oversaw. As you can imagine, very shocking for them to see his mugshot. It's still really stressful to think, you know, that he was right there and like had us around just like that. After Schroeder's arrest mugshot was made public, his face was instantly recognizable to St. John's mother, Nicole Roten. My husband said, oh my gosh, you're never going to believe who they arrested. And as soon as he turned his phone around and showed me, I was like, I completely recognized him and put two and two together and was completely disgusted. Rowan and others telling on your side, Schroeder was a ref at their kids flag football games at the Durban Park Fields. I didn't recognize him at first because he wears a low hat, but then after we looked at it, we realized, you know, it was the close Publix and it was just really kind of a shock, you know. Schroeder, who had an extensive arrest record, was a hired contractor for I-9 Sports. In a statement provided to First Coast News, I-9 wrote in part, I-9 Sports was shocked and appalled to learn that one of its franchisees, former referees, was arrested and found to have a past criminal record. I-9 Sports is deeply committed to the safety of the athletes its independently owned franchises serve, which makes this discovery even more troubling. The statement goes on to say that the local I-9 franchisee did not follow protocol in hiring Schroeder and that Schroeder's contract had been terminated. The statement from I-9 goes on to say that that franchisee, the local franchisee, was disciplined and that all other I-9 volunteers and independent contractors have undergone criminal background checks. The statement also says that I-9 is working with local authorities during this investigation. We're live in St. Johns County. David Jones, First Coast News, on your side.